Rune and I had a few updates about the lineage view on Data Hub. So the first update that we want to give is performance improvements, just like in profiling. We've also made some performance improvements on the lineage side. So if you've had issues in the past, loading your lineage view, especially for complex lineage views, I would encourage you to try again. The page is going to be a lot more responsive. It's going to load a lot faster. So definitely give it a go. We also added a fun little Easter egg. For, sometimes you'll see some very complex lineage views, just like this one. And it can be hard to understand exactly what's going on. So we've enabled drag and drop that lets you move your nodes around, try to pull things out, separate them. And this will hopefully help you get a better understanding in uh, very interconnected graphs about what is going on. So excited about both these improvements. Um, definitely check it out on the demo site or go and give another go using Lineage on your own. Uh, now I'm gonna cut over to Varun. He's gonna talk a little bit about some ways that we're inferring Lineage from BigQuery. So go for it. That's good. All right, so thanks a lot, Gib. Uh, what I'm going to demo today is uh, some of the recent improvements we have made to the BigQuery ingestion process. Uh, but just so that I honor the time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick the ingestion process and then I'll continue talking. So the way we have set up this uh, demo is that essentially what we're trying to do is when we have some derived tables uh, that are created on top of some uh, raw tables, so essentially after we ingest the BigQuery uh, uh, data sets, what we want to see is a lineage among the derived tables and to the corresponding raw tables. So as you can see that there are two tables, one is uh, seller categories and seller earnings that I've just created uh, as a sample derived table. And uh, from the query history, you can also see the logs. So, so the seller categories is built on top of uh, these three or four uh, raw tables. So ideally, we want to see a lineage edge going from uh, the seller categories uh, to the raw tables. And uh, the way uh, we do this, oops. sorry, I'm just looking for a slide, yeah. So, we are, what we're doing is that we are, uh, we are inferring the lineage information from the Google audit logs. And so whenever we issue a query, a log gets recorded and we're looking at that log information, which has specific information about what tables were referenced and what was the destination table. So when we created that derived table, a typical log entry looks like this. And as you can see, it has information about what the reference tables were and what the destination tables were. And it also has a ton of other metadata information, like how long this query took and how many query, how many rows were output. And so at some point we can also leverage that. So uh, going back to our ingestion process, uh, you can see that uh, all the tables were ingested. Along with that, we have two lineage uh, work units as well. So now if we go back to our, uh, the local data hub instance that I'm running. So if we look at, let's say the seller earnings, and if we look at its lineage, uh, we see that the, we have been able to connect it to the underlying raw tables. So just a quick demo around it, please try it out. And uh, if there's any feedback, uh, please let us know. And uh, happy to brainstorm further on improvements. Awesome. awesome. Just a heads up, this does require you to have access to the Google Cloud API so that uh, there's a document about it on the ingestion source page. Uh, so you'll need to talk to your IT department or whatever <laughs> the right word is. To, to get the Google Cloud API credentials and be able to set it exactly like how did uh, BigQuery usage works. So it's the same requirements that are now moving up into the regular BigQuery source as well. 